Hi, beautiful souls. I'm going to share this one of my first stories about leaving everything that I know and moving to a new town. So I was at a place in my life where I was like, hey, there's got to be more to life than this. I'm not staying stuck in this job and in this town and everything just wasn't feeling right. It wasn't even that like, like I, I, I had okay money. I had a good place to live. Like everything was, was okay. But inside of me didn't feel okay. I wanted and needed change. And so at this point was one of my first big, big, this, this is like all I knew. I was leaving. This is the first town that I lived in. It was, it was everybody and everything that I knew. So it was, it was a big decision. But I just kept feeling that instinct, like you got to go somewhere new. You got to try something new, something new. So I just, okay, I started Googling. What other little towns, what other towns can I go to? So I started looking at all kinds of different towns and nothing was feeling right. And then all of a sudden I come across London. Well, I th London, London is lovely. What a lovely word. Okay, well, London. So then I start searching that and I find out that it's like called Forest City. It's supposed to have, and I said, well, I'm a country girl, but maybe I can do a city if it's got trees. Heck yeah. Okay. So again, I know nobody. I know nothing. I, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to take this chance. I'm going to take this risk right on. So now I've got to figure out how I'm going to go about that. So, okay, I got to sell everything. I got to get rid of my apartment. I got to, okay, so uh, I start to do this. Now I've got a truck at this time that I absolutely loved, but the lease was up. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to hide <laughs> and not return the truck until I use it to move myself to this new city. And so I talk to my buddy and I say, okay, can you drive me in my truck? And then I'm going to send you back to the dealership with a note saying like, sorry for the delay in returning the vehicle. Um, and, and that's what I did. I, I packed up my stuff. I got my buddy to drive me. And so now I'm heading to this new town. I don't know nobody. And it just miraculously, as it always will, I promise you, just take a risk, just do it and trust the universe because it always is going to magically turn out for you. The minute that you take that risk and you are showing the universe and your angels and everybody above you that you have faith, they're going to surprise you. So it turns out that as I'm moving into this new town, my soul sister happens to mention, message me and say, hey, like, well, what's up? Where, are you moving? And I said, yeah, actually, I've decided that I'm moving to London. And she goes, oh, my God, you're never going to believe this. I just met this guy. We just started dating. He lives in London. We got an apartment. We're moving in this week. You want to come and stay with us until you get on your feet. Are you kidding? So now I get to be with my soul sister and experience this new city together incredible, right? Couldn't have known that that was going to be the case. I could have talked myself out of it a bunch of different times, not knowing how it was going to work out, but it does. And so what happened is the more and more that I continued to take these risks and have faith, divine faith, I called it walking blindly in faith. There were times where I was describing it like I couldn't even see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I just kept touching the walls until I got to the end and I lit the freaking candle myself. That's what it's about. Just to have that much faith because it does always work out. And the most incredible thing that happens is you teach yourself bravery doesn't come first. Bravery comes after. After you've done it, you've succeeded, you've taken the leap and you've proven to yourself, holy, it does work out. It's amazing. That's where your confidence builds. That's where you get more brave because you taught yourself you can. So even if it's a small risk, like I'm not comfortable going to this group or something like force yourself to just go do that one day it's one experience and the newness of it all is going to transform you because it gave you a new experience and that new experience taught you something new which then adds to the layers of your character your personality your conviction your beauty from the inside out as you're teaching yourself something new 
I really hope that this resonates. If it does, please subscribe, leave a comment. If you're at a place in your life, maybe where you're like, oh, I just, I would love to, but I'm overthinking. I'd love to, but I have all of these what ifs. You know what? When I was making those decisions, every time I've ever tried to make a big, big risk decision, everyone always says to me, well, what are you going to do? How are you going to, and what if, and and I say, I'm going to figure it out. I know that I have divine guidance. I know that I'm not alone. Just watch. And it always does. Always does. And still to this day, people say, I, I just don't know how you could have been so brave. It wasn't that I didn't in those moments have fears. I just didn't hang on to them. I didn't allow them to stick around and dis and deflate me. I would feel them. I'd think them. I'd go, okay, well, we'll see. We're going to see. I'm just going to take a risk and we'll see. Because worst case scenario, that's how exactly how I, I, I put myself at peace, was I just said to myself, I'm going to take this risk. I'm going to check it out. What if it's awesome? And you know what? If it's not, I'll go back to everything that I knew before. I'll go back to the same old, same old. And I never have had to. I have never had to go back to the same old, same old. But at least in that moment, it brought me peace going like, well, if nothing else, I'll just come back and do what I was doing before. And so that is my story. And I have many of these because then I'm going to continue to always take risks. Because I, I just, once you start getting into that momentum, you can't stop. Because the minute that you stop and you start getting into the routine, mundane, same thing, every day, nothing changing, stagnance, like it goes against my soul. It goes against everybody's soul, but you're not aware of it. So you're allowing society to tell you that you, you have a mental illness or that you have a disease or something that it's not, it's. It's because you're not listening to your soul. And if you don't listen to your soul, then your body starts to decay and has dis, dis ease in it because it so wants to live and it wants to experience and it wants to thrive. So please do whatever it is that's coming up for you. Take that risk. Just do it. Follow your heart. It's never going to be a mistake because something new is better than staying stuck in the old and wishing for something different. It's a choice. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. And yes, you can do it alone. I have never had anybody come with me. It was always on my own. And then the universe lined me up with the right people, the right places, the right things. So that I wasn't technically ever alone. I created new soul family, new friends, new experiences, new environments, new everything. And it's just amazing because one thing that hurts my feelings the most is when I talk to people and I go, so, hey, what's up? What's new? And everyone goes, same old, same old. And I'm like, oh, your poor soul, your poor soul. It's only going to be a matter of time before you start to call yourself depressed. Because depressed, in my opinion, is just lack of adventure, lack of experience. You're stagnant. You're staying stuck. And so your soul is screaming at you, please. Listen to your instincts. Listen to your deepest desires. You don't have to understand. For one second, do you need to understand how it's going to work out? You just have to have faith, walk blindly in it, take the risk, and teach yourself that you have it within you. You are brave. You are confident. You are capable. You learn that by teaching yourself you can, by just doing it. Just do it. <laughs> I'm wishing you so much love and light as we all rise and shine and divinely follow whatever it is within your heart. Just do it. Much love, much love, much love. You got this.